operations on list operations on the list number 1 to merge two sorted lists to merge two sorted lists <coughs> without without disturbing the original lists without disturbing the original lists number 2 to merge two sorted lists to merge two sorted lists without generating without generating extra extra nodes without generating extra nodes that is that is detach the node detach the node from the list and attach and attach to the new list to the new list number 3 kuch nahi hai problem se likh raha hai number 3 to merge two lists to merge two lists such that such that the third list the third list will contain the nodes of given list the nodes of given list at alternate positions at alternate positions number 4 to split a given list to split a given list into two lists okay this was fourth one no fifth to reverse the given link list to reverse the given linked list so let us start with the first job it is to merge two sorted lists to merge two sorted linked lists without disturbing original lists without disturbing the original lists suppose the first list is 10 15 32 and the second list is 12 14 17 25 28 31 
then you are required to merge these two such that the generated list will be again a sorted one policy will be you generate the header for the third list b at the first position first node in each of the list compare the two data items 10 and 12 the one which is smaller that data should be copied by generating a new node and attach it to the list so out of 10 and 12 10 is smaller so you generate a new node and attach it with value 10 and advance in that list then again you will check temp1 arrow data with temp2 arrow data the one which is smaller that should be transferred and then that has to be incremented or taken ahead then it will be 15 and 14 14 is smaller so you will take it over here 15 17 so 15 will be transferred and then 17 32 25 32 28 32 31 and the second list will give, go uh, get over now all the elements of the first list they should be copied and we get the third list actually the logic is quite similar to addition of two sparse matrices it's almost the same over there it was multiple check for row number and column number here it will be the check only for the data the function will return the header of the third list so it is slp merge to which we will pass the header of the first list and header of the second list we will require the pointers to store the position in the first list position in the second list position in the third list and a new node that has to be attached and of course you are required to generate the third header rows so first of all we will generate the header node using get node and then temp1 will be set to the first position in the first list h1 arrow next points to the first node temp2 will be set to the first position in the second list and temp3 will be at the header position we will have to repeat the job as long as temp1 does not become null and temp2 does not become null so while temp1 is not equal to null and temp2 is not equal to null first of all generate a new node then you check if temp1 arrow data is less than temp2 arrow data in that case n arrow data will be equal to temp1 arrow data and you will have to advance in the first list temp1 equal to temp1 arrow next else n arrow data will be equal to temp2 arrow data and you will have to advance in the second list temp2 equal to temp2 arrow next so either the first or the second one of the data will be copied whatever is the newly generated node that should be attached as the next node of temp3 so temp3 arrow next is equal to n so it will be attached ye temp3 tha temp3 arrow next is n but then temp3 should come to this position so we can say temp3 is equal to n 
so tem3 comes here and again the current tem1 and tem2 they will be compared rather tem1 and tem2 will be compared and then that value will be transferred we'll keep on doing this till one of the list gets over suppose the first list is not getting over so outside this if tem1 is not null then you will have to generate a new node n equal to get node n arrow data will be temp1 arrow data temp1 should advance temp1 equal to temp1 arrow next you will have to attach n as next node of temp3 so temp3 arrow next is equal to n and then set temp3 to n this will be there because there are some nodes present in the first list and again there will be while loop similar while loop for temp2 that is while temp2 is not null the same bunch of statements to be written again like over here first loop will copy 3247 because it has not ended second list will end first कहीं अगर फर्स्ट लिस्ट पहले खत्म हो गया तो सेकंड लिस्ट के बाकी वाले नोट्स कॉपी करने पड़ेंगे सो आइदर दिस लूप और दैट लूप वन ऑफ देम विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड एंड देन एट द एंड यू विल हैव टू रिटर्न द हेडर ऑफ द थर्ड लिस्ट विच यू हैव जनरेटेड ओके सो हियर वी आर जनरेटिंग ऑल द नोट्स नाउ इफ यू कंपेयर इट विद द एडिशन ऑफ स्पार्स then it was like if k1 while k1 is less than or equal to uh, sp1 square bracket 0 square bracket 2 and k2 less than or equal to sp2 square bracket 0 square bracket 2 we were comparing first of all row numbers then the column numbers and then we were transferring the data actually prior to that on that day itself i had given the merging of two sorted arrays also that was first array having m elements and second array having n elements so it was like while i less than m and j less than n if a of i is less than b of j then c of k equal to a of i i plus plus k plus plus it was entirely the same structure the one which work for merging of two sorted arrays will now work for merging of two sorted linked lists also instead of i plus plus you will have temp1 equal to temp1 arrow next or temp2 equal to temp2 arrow next at the end the remaining element should be copied and the header should be returned here i have not destroyed the given this but in the second job that is stated it is said that merge the two lists but then you will have to detach the node and attach that means you can create the header node h3 but you are not allowed to perform something like n equal to get node when you compare 10 and 12 you will have to delete 10 from the first list detach so h1 arrow next will now point to 15 so node 10 will be free free means it is detached memory is not set free value is still there wo jo node hai that particular node should be attached after h3 so yahan se ek node nikalo aur yahan attach karo so uske baad kabhi n equal to get node nahi aayega but then at the end both h1 arrow next will be null h2 arrow next also will be null because all the nodes they will be removed and a new list will be formed so you will destroy the given two lists all the nodes will be removed but the third list which is generated is merging of those two so the job can be done in either way it will depend on the purpose as whether you want to destroy the list or you want to maintain that list okay so i want you to take down this and try for the second if there are two same numbers in both the lists as per our condition if both temp1 arrow data and temp2 arrow data are same 
then first the node from the second list will be transferred then the first list both of them will be transferred so we have the first code where we were not destroying the given list but the new list was generated now in the second case when we are required to detach the node from the given list and attach it to the third list see the procedure we don't require n actually because no new node should be generated except h3 so h3 will be first of all get node and temp3 will be at the same position as h3 temp1 will be the first node of the first list temp2 will be the first node of the second list so till this time there is no change even the comparison will go in the same manner so i will say if temp1 arrow data is less than temp2 arrow data in that case temp1 should be removed from the first list and to remove temp1 the step will be h1 arrow next will now point to temp1 arrow next that is this one will point to this so temp1 no longer belongs to the first list it is removed ye jo temp1 hai that should be attached as next node of temp3 so h3 arrow next will now be connected to this vectorial and then temp3 should go to that position as we were doing it earlier also temp3 equal to temp3 arrow next or temp3 equal to temp1 else you will have to detach the node from the second list so h2 arrow next is equal to temp2 arrow next so this node will get detached and should be connected as the next of temp3 so temp3 arrow next is equal to temp2 and then temp3 should go to that position temp3 equal to temp2 and then go back we don't know whether temp1 has been detached or temp2 in dono mein se koi ek to hua hoga 
so every time we will start with saying temp1 is first node and temp2 is first node of the second list so this cannot go outside the loop we'll have while <coughs> And how long will we we'll do this this job? Till none of the list ends. List will end means all the nodes are removed. That means the list will become empty. That means as long as h1 arrow next is not equal to null, and h2 arrow next is not equal to null, you will either detach the node from the first list or the second list and attach it in the third list. Once this job is done, then there is a possibility. that the first list might not have ended not m temp1 it is h1 arrow next first list abhi tak khatam nahi hua like the one which is happening over here so h1 arrow next when all second list ends h1 arrow next will be pointing to 32 at that time okay 32 detach nahi hua now what we do we will not delete each node and copy instead i will simply set that 31 arrow next should directly go to 32 kyunki baki to connected hai hi already that's why there will not be while loop here instead there will be a single statement temp3 arrow next equal to h3 uh, h1 arrow next and h1 arrow next should be set to null क्योंकि बोलो से डिटैच किया हमने इसलिए एल्स एग्जैक्टली टू स्टेटमेंट्स सेइंग दैट टेम थ्री एरो नेक्स्ट इक्वल टू एच टू एरो नेक्स्ट एच टू एरो नेक्स्ट इज नल एंड देन यू विल रिटर्न एच थ्री द जॉब इज डन वॉट इट्स वेर वी हैव नॉट क्रिएटेड एनी न्यू नोड एक्सेप्ट हेडर और अगर हेडर भी क्रिएट नहीं करना है तो यू कैन ऑलवेज Say that h1 equal to h3, and h1 से merge हो गया, like that. But one node is okay. That is not a problem. सभी के लिए nodes generate नहीं करने. Header you can always generate because it is a newly generated list. Okay. Mark it important also. Where we are not calling that delete function because delete function will otherwise free memory also. We don't want to free that memory. we want to simply detach that node and attach it again so in the theory exam as well as in practical it is necessary that you read the problem carefully whether you are allowed to destroy the list or you are allowed to uh, you should be retaining the list accordingly the function will change and remember that once you write this particular function and call it after this you are supposed to print all the three lists that is print list h1 print list h2 and print list h3 because if you simply print the list h3 in both the cases the same list will be printed that will not give us the idea as whether the original two lists are still there or they are uh, destroyed so output to same aa hi jayega whether you use this merge function or the earlier one but then you print all the three in this case you will have h1 ka list as printed as empty header arrow null h2 list will be printed as header and arrow null and h3 will be the output whereas in the previous case the first list will be printed the second will be printed and even third will be printed because that is the only way which by which you can prove whether the lists are destroyed or they are still intact and this is this will turn out to be a complete assignment even in the practical exam where you are required to write create sorted function create the two sorted lists we are not saying that the data will be given in the sorted manner data can be given in any manner you create the sorted list and then call merge
to merge two lists into one by placing the nodes at alternate positions meaning that suppose the nodes in the first list are p1 p2 p3 and nodes in the second list are q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 then the new list should be generated in this manner that first node belongs to the first list second node to the second list third node again to the first list fourth to the second fifth to the first list sixth to the second so first list ends and then the remaining nodes of the second list so the nodes which are placed in the third list are actually alternately from the first and second list and i will use the policy of destroying their two lists because again i can work out on both the bases okay i will say that detach the nodes and attach that will be the policy like the second job so it will be say alter merge to which i am passing two lists h1 and h2 are required to generate the header for the third list and the positions in the first list second list third list no new node should be generated i will be using flag which will tell me okay, from which from which list i should detach so it will be first of all generate the header node set temp3 to its position as h3 i am going to follow the detachment policy so while loop will be having the same condition that is while h1 arrow next is not equal to null and h2 arrow next is not equal to null temp1 will be h1 arrow next temp2 will be h2 arrow next now when flag is 1 you are required to delete the node from the first list if flag is 2 delete the node from the second list so you will have to check the value of flag if flag is equal to 1 you will say h1 arrow next equal to temp1 arrow next and attach the node as temp3 arrow next is equal to temp1 so you have detached the node from the first list attached it after the temp3 in the third list and then next time you want to det detach the node from the second list so flag should become 2 else same job okay bahar aane par same job return h3 so where is the change changes you will have to use flag comparison will be on the basis of flag otherwise it is the same function which will merge the nodes in the alternate positions what okay? it it's entirely the same thing baki koi change nahi hoga is just by the use of flag <coughs> if you can understand then you can make the changes in the earlier one only side by side otherwise likho pura vaise likhne mein koi problem nahi hona chahiye example you will have to give 
Okay, what do we mean by merge the nodes in the alternate positions? Yeah, obviously. Not only set the flag to one, even this may be a temp three equal to temp one to karna hi padega. Ye ek statement missing tha mera yaha. Aur iske baad flag equal to one karna hi padega, obviously. Original three statements will remain plus flag equal to two. The given two lists are need not be sorted in this case, huh? and the third list also will not be the sorted one. जो जैसे nodes हैं उनके position wise they will be merged. The next job is exactly opposite to what we were doing earlier. You are given a list, and that should be splitted into two lists. You are given one list, and you are required to split it into two lists. Take down the example. And in this case, as two lists are getting generated, we cannot return both the pointers. So here, all the headers they should be generated outside. Of course, ये तो होगा ही. ये भी बाहर से ही generate करने होंगे. And then you should call the function. So it is going to be a function split. into two void type function where h1 should be splitted and the generated list should be using the header size h2 and h3 so we are not going to return anything
again using the policy of destroying the first list so at the end first list will become empty and two lists are generated so that i can split into two and afterwards if i call merge i will get back the original jo pehle humne likha tha merge alternately so i can split the list into two lists and i can merge the two lists into the same list again ye dono converse functions jaise chalenge okay i will require flag we will start with setting temp2 at h2 and temp3 at h3 and every time you will detach the first node so i will say while the first list does not end that is while h1 arrow next is not equal to null temp1 will be the node which is to be detached which will be the first node so you will remove this p1 now the question is where to attach this node ye temp1 kiske baad attach kare temp2 ke baad ya temp3 ke baad that answer will be given by flag as in the previous case i will say that if flag is equal to 2 then it should be attached after temp2 so you will simply say वन सेकेंड आई विल डिटैच इट ओनली एंड देन चेक क्योंकि अभी तक डिटैच नहीं हुआ आई हैव सिंपली मार्क इट एज टेम्प वन डिटैचमेंट के लिए आई विल हैव टू से एच वन एरो नेक्स्ट इक्वल टू टेम्प वन एरो नेक्स्ट सो नाउ द नोड इज डिटैच फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट लिस्ट एंड देन इट शुड बी अटैच एज वेन फ्लैग इज टू यू विल हैव टू अटैच इट एज नेक्स्ट नोड ऑफ टेम्प टू सो टेम्प टू एरो नेक्स्ट is equal to temp1 and then temp2 is equal to temp1 of course next time you want to attach it to list 3 so set flag to 3 same policy as i was using for the merging else you will attach it as the next node of temp3 temp3 arrow next is equal to temp1 then temp3 is equal to temp1 and flag is equal to 2 so one node is removed from the first list will be either attached to the second list or to the third list and we'll keep on doing this job as long as there is a node in the first list when first list gets gets empty we come out but then there will be a problem like over here p7 jab attach hoga to uska next to already null hai hi lekin jab p6 attach hua tha to uska next jo hai wo abhi tak p7 ko hi point kar raha hoga kyunki hum isme kabhi jo node attach kar rahe hai temp1 temp1 ka next set nahi kar rahe so in dono mein se ek list aisa hoga jiska ke last node ka next is not null but we know that jaise hum advance kar rahe hain at the end temp2 will be here and at the end temp3 will be here in dono ka ki dono mein se kisi ek ka next null nahi hai so to be on the safer side i will straight away say set temp2 arrow next equal to null ek repetition hoga koi set temp3 arrow next also to null jaise hum string close karte hain bilkul usi tarah se and the given list will be splitted into two so ye use karo you will get the splitting of the list use merge you can get back the original got it sirf isme headers bahar generate karne padenge kyunki do header nodes return nahi kar payenge okay and iske baad wala kaam shayad maine diya tha to reverse instead of that we will go for union of the two sets using linked list and intersection of the two sets using link list reverse next time karenge okay so merging and splitting ka kaam mein ye union and intersection bhi ho jayega so make a note of this and think for how to take the union and how to take the intersection
so to take union of two sets uh, first of all we'll do intersection okay that is smaller and faster and then we'll go for union you are given two lists h1 and h2 you are required to generate h3 which will be intersection of the two lists so function intersection you know the logic right the nodes which are common to both only those nodes should be copied so of course there is no question of destroying the given list you will have to generate altogether a new list and you will require the positions and you will be generating new node of course so you generate the header for the third list and initially temp3 will be at h3 now to take the intersection you will have to take the first value from the first set compare it with all the values in the second set if it matches then copy it to the third if there is no matching then leave that value take the second value from first set compare with all and instead of now writing using the while loop we will go for for temp1 equal to h1 arrow next temp1 not equal to null temp1 equal to temp1 arrow next so pick up each node starting with the first node till the list gets empty or till you reach the end of the list again for temp2 equal to h2 arrow next as long as the second list does not end temp2 equal to temp2 arrow next now you are required to compare the data first node ka data if it matches with the node from the second that is if temp1 arrow data if it is equal to temp2 arrow data so the node is common to both the list you will have to generate a new node you will have to copy the data and you will have to attach it as the next node of temp3 and take temp3 ahead so for each node start from the beginning in the second go on comparing whenever it matches create a new node attach it to the third list if it doesn't match go to the next node jab tak list khatam nahi hota once the list ends you will go to the next node in the first list again start from the beginning this is the standard way in which the for loops are executed at the end return h3 job is done on the identical lines we write the program for union of two sets using arrays for i equal to 0 i less than n1 i plus plus for j equal to 0 j less than n2 j plus plus if a of i is equal to b of j then c of k equal to a of i i plus plus j plus plus k plus plus like that वैसे आई प्लस प्लस वगैरह नहीं करना पड़ता सिर्फ के प्लस प्लस क्योंकि फॉर में आई प्लस प्लस वगैरह है ही एंड दैट्स व्हाई आई हैव यूज्ड फॉर सो दैट इट विल बी एनालॉगस टू इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू सेट्स यूजिंग एरेज
How many of you have already joined some classes for microprocessors? How many of you are looking for microprocessor subject? Okay. Because probably on Friday we will have the introductory lecture for microprocessors at 7.30, not the full lecture. I will take the lecture from 6.30 to 7.30 for half an hour. Uh, one of my friend will give the introduction. He is presently teaching in some college. Name etc. that does not matter. Our concern is mainly what he teaches and how he teaches. Pers and Kai? Uh, M3 Suru Delhi Bench. MT which are them. So that will be the introduction. Introduction lecture to everybody should attend. Bad me up join karna hai, nahi karna hai. that could be your decision that you tell me next time. Batch could be twice or thrice a week or it could be one day in between and on Sunday two hours, three hours. That you can discuss with the sir. My job will be just to provide the classroom and collect the fees, of course. But that lecture will be if before I forget I'm telling you it will be on Friday 7.30 this ka matlab 6.30 to 7.30 DSF to continue rahega 7.30 to 8 and he is in the teaching field as many as I am as many years as I am there in the teaching field 17, 18 years ok but then the difference somebody might like my teaching somebody might like his teaching somebody might not like my teaching as well as his so it, that's why the introductory lecture has to be there and then you can decide and let me know and if some other friends who are not there for DSF are interested tell them to come at 7.30 only unko mera introductory lecture nahi milega and uh, in another 8 to 10 days span uh, we will be shifting from this place but the entire Siley Engineering Institute will be shifted so you are likely to get one or two days off in between you will have to come from Pradhikaran so no I am shifting to the next building <laughs> Just the next building, here you can see the windows in the window. So the painting work is already going on. We won't be having this big classroom over there, slightly smaller. But still V40 can be accommodated, that's no issue. And uh, in between you are likely to get one or two days off. That means our only lecture will go two days. And that will be mainly due to the shifting purpose. So we will vacate this place start in the new place better ambience and environment kya hua? no change in the fees <laughs> <laughs> so just the next building ok and we will continue using the same i-cards of Sri Chintamani AC pai jay love upon titha kai titha sa gada apla hai वो क्या बोल रहा था फिर हां वही तो मैं बता रहा हूं एसी चाहिए तो अभी बोल दो तो पेंटिंग हो जाने के बाद लगा दे नो प्रॉब्लम ओके देन सो दिस वाज इंटरसेक्शन फाइनली टुडे इज लास्ट जॉब to take the union of two sets <coughs> union may actually first set should be copied as it is because first set ke sabhi elements to rahenge union may second set ke only those elements which are not there in the first so if I go with the changes in the same function I will create the third list header from here I will divert and say for temp1 equal to h1 arrow next 
वो जगह काफी होगी क्यों नहीं होगी मुझे फिर से सब लिखना पड़ेगा ओके फॉर टेम्पन इक्वल टू टेम्पन आर नेक्स्ट सेव समथिंग हाँ आई शुड कॉपी इट टू द थर्ड लिस्ट दैट इज जनरेट अ न्यू नोट कॉपी द डेटा attach it as the next node of temp3 and take temp3 to the new position so entire first list entire first set has been copied to the third now what you will have to do start from each node in the second list jab tak second list khatam nahi hota temp2 equal to attempt to arrow next i will have to keep a check whether the node has matched or not so i will be using again a flag which is initially zero and it will turn out to be one when the data matches i will have to compare with all the nodes of the first list so temp1 equal to h1 arrow next temp1 not equal to null temp1 equal to temp1 arrow next if temp1 arrow data if it matches with temp2 arrow data in that case flag should become 1 so when i come out of this for loop if the flag is still 0 that means there is no matching for temp2 if flag has become one then it is the matching node so i should not copy so i will just put a check on flag saying that if flag is still zero that means i don't have the corresponding matching code then i will have to copy that node same four steps again n equal to get node n arrow data equal to temp2 arrow data temp3 arrow next is equal to n temp3 equal to n and then we will complete that for loop kya hua <coughs> flag to hamesha whenever you pick up a node from second list flag will be set to zero always If it matches, it becomes one. अगर वो जीरो ही रहा तो नोड को कॉपी कर लेंगे वन हुआ तो उसे छोड़ के ऑफकोर्स दैट कॉपिंग विल नॉट बी डन यू विल कंटिन्यू विद द नेक्स्ट नोट सो ओनली द नॉन मैचिंग एलिमेंट्स ऑफ सेकेंड लिस्ट दे विल बी कॉपीड पहला लिस्ट तो पूरा कॉपी हो ही चुका है एट द एंड रिटर्न एच थ्री दैट विल बी द कोड देर इज वन problem in this code can anybody point out of course there is nahi nahi nah. if the given list has got a repetition we can't help ab dene wale nahi galti ki to kya karenge original list mein koi copy repetition hoga same element twice to wo do bar aa bhi sakta hai wo intersection mein bhi do bar aayega union mein do bar aa hi jayega we can't help uske liye hame create modify karna padega so that the same element if it is repeated then you should not create a node for it there is one okay but agar wo continue raha bhi to kya fark padta hai fir bhi flag ek bar one ho gaya to wo one hi rahega so let it go ahead terminate karna hai to you can simply put a break that is okay usse kuch fark nahi padta और कुछ आ अरे यातला प्रत्येक नोट घेन अरे वॉट इज द प्रोसिजर यू विल हैव टू पिक अप ईच नोट फ्रॉम सेकेंड लिस्ट एंड कंपेयर विथ एवरी नोट इन द फर्स्ट लिस्ट कंपेयर नहीं ना इंटरसेक्शन चल रहे राजा एच थ्री नल नहीं है एच थ्री मध्य कंप्लीट फर्स्ट लिस्ट है 
हा असं नाही करून जाणार पण मग काय होईल की ओनली नॉन देन इट विल जनरेट ए मायनस बी ऑर बी मायनस ए सी इट इज ऑल द इलिमेंट्स विच बिलॉंग टू आयदर टू सेट ए ऑर टू बी ऑर बोथ सो एज पर यू इट विल बी ओनली बिलॉंगिंग टू ए और ओनली बिलॉंगिंग टू बी ऐसे हो और वैसे भी उसमें भी दो लुप्स तो चाहिए ईच नोड फ्रॉम फर्स्ट लिस्ट शुड बी कंपेयर विथ ऑल द नोट्स इफ इट मैचेस डोंट कॉपी इट अदरवाइज कॉपी and because the first list has already been copied isko short nahi kar sakte there is no way matlab socho bhi mat but there is a problem in it anybody okay chalo iske upar problem anyone चलो इसके ऊपर है प्रॉब्लम हा अब चलो फर्स्ट लाइन में प्रॉब्लम है यूनियन इज अ की वर्ड एंड देन इट विल गिव यू सो मेनी फनी मिस्टेक एरर that you will never come to know ke union is a key word nahi but the errors are not indicated in that manner it doesn't specifically say that ke union is a key word from the so many funny errors will come you will have to correctly point out kya galti hai so union is a key word 